Hey everybody out there, in our last particle tutorial, people say, well that was a little advanced. So let's take a step back and do a little, little bit easier a scene with particles in Houdini. The first thing we're going to do is model. So let's model something for our particles to interact with. So I want to control click a box, and it's going to lay down my box here. So let's zoom in here. And let's go to work on our box. Let's select this top primitive here. Let's go to Polygon, Poly Extrude, and let's extrude this up like so. R key so we can rotate it. Let's rotate it around like this. Q key, and the Q key just uh, refires the um, tool that you was using before, and the tool that we was using before, <clears throat> excuse me, the tool that we was using before was the Poly Extrude. So instead of going back up here and hitting poly extrude again, which I could do, I'm just going to hit the Q key. And that's going to refire my poly extrude. So I want to bring this on up here like this. R for rotate. Q key to refire my poly extrude. Bring it on out again. Rotate. And let's hit the T key for transform. We'll bring that out and use my R key to rotate a little bit. And we're going to end up with this flat shape here. Okay? So I'm going to hit my Q key one more time. And I'm going to scale in like this. Okay, now I'm going to go up here and go to my wireframe so I can see what's going on here. You can see we can see real well. So I'm going to hit my Q key again to refire my poly extrude. And let's bring this back in here like so. We'll bring it down. Hit the R key to rotate it. Like so. Q key to poly extrude again. We'll bring it on in. And we're just going to keep rotating this around like this. And poly extruding down. Until we get the shape that we're looking for, which is going to be flat. So I'm going to make this flat like this, and using the T key, I'm going to transform it straight down like so, and maybe the E key to scale it out a little bit, like that. And there we go. If we turn off our wireframe, you'll see what we got. Okay, something real simple, just to direct the flow of our particles or smoke, you can you can imagine whatever you want to imagine. So let's go back to wireframe. You can go up here and hit wireframe or space W. Okay. Okay, so now let's go back up to object level. Let's go to a create shelf and let's control click a grid. That's gonna lay in a grid. So let's click inside of our grid and let's turn the size down. And I'm going to make it small enough to fit right inside that little box we made. Let's zoom in here and see. It's looking pretty good if you ask me. There we go. Now we have our little grid laid in right where we want it. Okay? Let's go back up to object level. Now we have this grid laid in. And what we're going to do is we're going to make particles emit from every point on this grid. So now what we're going to want to do is go up to our Create Particle Shelf, and we're going to select Source From. So I'm going to deselect everything. I'm going to come up here, I'm going to select Source From. And when I do that, it's going to ask me for the geometry that I want to be the source. So I'm going to select that grid we just laid down and hit Return. And now if we re rewind and go back to the beginning, you can see our grid is sourcing out particles now. Ooh, but they're going crazy. So let's go ahead and go to our attributes tab here. And let's go ahead and turn down our variance. Let's turn our velocity in the Y to 0.5. And let's make our variance, I don't know, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and 0 0.3. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's looking pretty good. But as you can see here, we're having problems because when we get out so far, you can see our particles are leaving 
and going through passing through our geometry. So we don't want that. We don't want that at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a collision, okay? So I'm going to go to my drive particle shelf and this is where I'm going to select the collision button. What it's going to do it's going to say select particles for collision. So I'm going to select my particles. Hit return. Now it's going to ask me for the object. The object is going to be our vent. We hit return. Okay, and now as you can see, I scroll back to the beginning and play this. You can see our particles now are going to collide with our vent and they're going to pass right on out the front. Pretty cool, huh? So let's go to back to object level, turn off our wireframe, and now you can see we've got a pretty good little mist coming out there. So let's go ahead and make this more visible. So what I'm going to do is we're going to copy a sphere to each particle. So let's go ahead and control click a sphere. Let's go into our sphere. Let's turn the radius down. Go back into wireframe, of course, so we can see the size of our sphere. And you can see it there in the middle. We don't want them too big. We'll make it about like that. That looks pretty good. Okay. Let's zoom up here. Now you can see I have this little sphere right in the middle there, okay? So what I'm going to do is go to my model or my modify shelf and I want to select my copy to points node. Okay? It's going to ask to ask me to select the geometry to copy. And I want to want to copy my sphere, so I want to select my sphere and hit return. Now it's going to want me to select the geometry, the points that I'm going to be copying to. So let me zoom in here and select the particle. You can see when I selected that particle, they turned yellow. I'm going to hit return. And boom, that copied a sphere, a sphere to every particle. So let's zoom out. Turn off our wireframe. Go back up to object level. Rewind and push play. Now as you can see, we have our spheres coming out of our vent and we're having some good collisions. Let's go to a smooth shaded and zoom in. Now we, can, we have our balls coming right out there. And of course we can go in and adjust our collision. Uh, a lot of things are going on that we, we can fix to make our collision more, how you say, accurate, so to speak. But, you know, we can, I don't want to get too advanced on you guys, because people was complaining about my last video being a little bit too advanced for, for some of you. So, you know, that's not a problem. That's okay, I understand that completely. Houdini is very, very 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 powerful application and it's very broad so I want to keep it simple in this video or fairly simple rather anyway and there we go that's the end of our exercise so in this exercise we've worked with particles we've worked with collisions okay and it's been a fairly simple and fast process so as you can see here come our little balls out there they are flowing up the pipe and they are coming out and we can also go in there and set the life of them and when we want them to die, you know, for now they're going to keep going on and on and on, but that's for later videos. So thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate you tuning in for this video and watching these Houdini videos because I know a lot of you are not into it and you're waiting for Final Cut Studio tutorials, but uh, I appreciate you bearing with me and uh, thanks a lot for watching. Happy modeling.